It's almost like the one head is off the other one's side. You know, they're not equally split. Look at these things. What are they doing? Oh my gosh. That's what makes two headed snakes so crazy. Do you see that? What in the heck are you doing? Hey, good morning everybody. Welcome to the vlog on day two here at the Dells, Wisconsin. Today I am heading back to Alligator Alley. You may remember I visited here, I don't know, like a year and a half ago. Two-headed snake, big pythons, a bunch of alligators. My buddy Orlando owns it. It's gonna be awesome. Let's go and check it out. All right, so here he goes, guys. This is absolutely amazing. I love this. Look at this alligator tank here. Holy moly. Look at all these gators. And you know what I think is pretty cool is take a look at this right here. These are like holes, and this kind of pushes meat through like here, and then the alligators actually can eat them, so people can actually feed. I'm not 100% sure if I'm gonna incorporate something like this, but I am gonna have a gator tank, and this kind of inspired me to do it when I was here last time. Thinking about possibly having a feature like that. Let me know in the comments if you think that would be pretty cool. Man, I love this place. I'm so excited the Reptarium's only a week away. Holy cow, who doggy? That is one big alligator snapping turtle. Oh my gosh, take a look at that thing. Oh my God, that thing is absolutely immense. That makes Bowser look like a baby. Alligator Alley. This is the guy, the man, the legend, my friend Orlando. Thank you so much. So you're gonna feed a gator today, right? We're gonna make these gators do the jump roof show. Alright, let's go check this out. Oh, look at this. Oh they know. There it is. Oh they know. Orlando's really hooking us up. He's doing like the full treatment for us here at VIP. So we're gonna go ahead and feed the albino alligator. Let's check it out. Alligator. Oh, he sees it. There we go. I see. So I'm trying to take its time so it gets a better chance. <laughs> quantify how big this albino oh, berm is right here. Look at this berm. I mean, again, I'm hoping that like the size of my head compared to the size of this snake gives you an idea. I mean, look at look at my hand compared to the snake. That is a huge albino Burmese python. Remember last time I was here, I was blown away. Now I'm even more blown away. I love Alligator Alley. I think it's such an amazing place. And I wanted to just come when I was in the area one more time before we open up the Reptarium. This place and Jay's place and so many other places really inspired me to do the things I'm doing. And uh, it's absolutely incredible. If you're ever in the Dells, Wisconsin area, number one, come see Alligator Alley. Number two, tell Orlando that Brian sent you. Take a look at the 
big pixie frog here, like chubby monkey, and then this huge cane toad. Oh my gosh, that cane toad is absolutely incredible. And then we got an albino woodhouse toad. I haven't seen these guys in a while. And then look at another Argentine horn frog, just like our new ones. Oh my gosh. I absolutely am in love with this snake. Again, last time I was here, I kind of highlighted it. And you guys know that I've had this love-hate relationship with two-headed snakes. I've had some really good experiences, and I've had some really, really, really bad experiences. Hopefully, Cookies and Cream will come through and do really well, and one day get this big. Take a look at these guys right here. It's kind of interesting. It's almost like the one head is off the other one's side. You know, they're not equally split. Typically, you'll have a two-headed snake that's kind of like that. In this case, it's actually like this snake is the predominant a snake and then this one's head just kind of comes off the side which I think is really unique and really interesting but this is actually like a 12 or 13 year old two-headed snake that just gives you an idea how long these guys can actually live and once again if you come to alligator alley you're gonna get an opportunity to see another amazing majestic animal like this two-headed snake right here who <laughs> doggy I absolutely love it and look at these things what are they doing oh my god that's what makes two headed snakes so crazy. Do you see that? What in the heck are you doing, you silly monkey? I tell you what, this thing is freaking awesome. Back at the shop for a minute, and then I'll throw you back over to the Dells, Wisconsin. But of course, that two headed snake was really an amazing animal. And actually, like two years ago, I met that two headed snake, and it just kind of spurred on my desire to get a two headed animal. I kind of went on a little tour of some zoos. Certainly, Jay over at Prehistoric, I peeling Alligator Alley. When I started to think about doing the Reptarium, but when I went over to Alligator Alley, I saw that two-headed snake and I just knew what an attraction for a zoo. And that's really what kind of spurred on the whole idea of getting Laverne and Shirley, to be honest with you. As soon as I saw that animal, I was like, oh my gosh, I've got to get a two-headed snake because I saw how people were just freaking out about it. And I certainly did. So that is really what kind of led me down this path. And of course, we all know what happened to Laverne and Shirley. But now we've got cookies and cream. And it was interesting because Orlando told me he had a couple two-headed corn snakes as well that ended up not making it. So maybe king snakes and rat snakes are just better than say corn snakes. Maybe corn snakes are a little too weak when it comes to two heads. I'm not 100% sure. Regardless, his two-headed snake is absolutely incredible and I just wanted to take a little bit of a break and show you Laverne and Shirley and tell you that they're still doing absolutely incredibly well and I hope one day they'll get as big as Orlando's two-headed snake at Alligator Alley. That's enough of that. Let's go ahead and head back to the Dells, Wisconsin in Alligator Alley. I tell you what guys, keeping in the theme of two-headed animals, I have seen a lot of two-headed turtles, but I've never seen anything like this. This is actually Beavis and Butthead, and look at this, they're Siamese twins, but they're linked at the back. So there's a head on this side and a head on this side. The thing that's amazing about this to me is not that this happened, but the fact that now look at how big they are. I mean, these are born like this size, and they are obviously thriving. How in the world an animal can thrive with a head on this side and a head on that side, I have no idea. Never seen anything like it, but I can tell you this much, it is absolutely amazing. And then of course, there's another two-headed turtle here. These guys are actually Cheech and Chong another common snapping turtle, but this time the heads are at least in the right spot. It's the same type of mutation, but instead of being in the back, they're actually together. You can see how the shell kind of fuses together a little bit, but nevertheless, these guys are doing really well too. If I'm not mistaken, these guys are born the same year, so they're basically like the same type of animal, and I think that I actually saw them when they were tiny babies, so it's pretty cool to see that they've been thriving, and I know Rick and Morty would absolutely love this, and I can't wait till Rick and Morty is this size, so I'm telling you what, these things are absolutely incredible. So Jay, it was an absolute awesome time. I'm so glad that you were here. I mean, there was some cool stuff here, huh? Dang! <laughs> That's awesome. I think you're shocked almost as much as I am. Yeah, it really was absolutely amazing. But as always, it's great traveling with Jay. We are going to hit the road, drop Jay off, and he's going to the airport. I'm going back to Detroit. Uh, I will put a link in the description to Jay's channel. Go show him some love. Follow this ugly guy, would you? <laughs> Make sure you tell him that I sent you, okay? So what do you say we get out of here? Hey, let's do it. Just to help paint you guys the picture, I have slept four hours in the last two nights. We just drove four and a half hours from the Dells, Wisconsin into the Chicago area. Area, drop Jay off, Art off, Giovanni off, and now I have about a four and a half hour drive home. Sounds like a wonderful time, doesn't it? So let's just sit back and uh, cruise down this road and hopefully get there in one piece. 
and I made it home. It is absolutely late. I've been up for 23 hours driving everything else after only an hour of sleep, so I am absolutely buckled. I am definitely ending the vlog here, and I'm wishing you guys an absolutely amazing day, evening, whenever you happen to be watching it. I am getting some rest. Thank you, as always, for your support. I really hope that you did enjoy this entire adventure. We have plenty of adventure ahead with the zoo coming up in just a handful of days. Do me a couple favors before we get out of here. Can you smash that like button? Turn those post notifications on. Leave a comment down below and let me know something awesome about you guys. Be kind to someone and I promise I will see you guys tomorrow.